In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the best ways to find hidden great Amazon products that 99% of Amazon sellers are skipping right past. What we're looking to sell on Amazon is name brand products like this makeup right here. It's selling for $36. We can also get a 50% off coupon using a strategy I'll show you here in just a second. And then over here on Amazon, that same exact makeup sells for $36. So after we buy that for 50% off, we make over $8 every single time this sells. And when we check the seller amp charts down here, we can see that it is very reasonable that the price is gonna stay high and we're gonna consistently make a profit on this item. And once you find great items like this to sell on Amazon, all you have to do is ship it into Amazon FBA costs you about 30 or 40 cents a pound and they take care of all the order fulfillment customer service literally your only job as an Amazon seller is to find good products using the methods we're going to break down today the first of which being the most obvious and that's by leveraging hidden coupons or just coupons in general right so this is a free Chrome extension called Capital One Shopping and on here we can see that there is a flash sale on these bronzers right there 36 bucks immediately down to $18 which again is going to leave us with over $8 in profit every single time one of these sells. And according to our tool seller ramp right here, it sells over 400 times a month. So you can be relatively assured that you are going to make a good profit on this item and it sells well. But we can even take this a step further. And this is something that's going to allow you to find more profitable products. And that's leveraging the highest cashback potential possible. This is a free website. It's called Cashback Monitor. And in this case, I'm able to plug in the Benefit Cosmetics website. And according to Cashback Monitor, the highest cashback rate that we're going to be able to get today is 6% back from top cashback. Very trustworthy cash cashback provider. I've used it many times. And so on an item like this, if you were only using one certain cashback provider, I know Rakuten tends to be the most popular, you would have just wasted 1.5% of whatever you were going to buy there. So that's another super quick way to boost your margins, find products that other people are missing. But another super powerful way to find those products, especially products that people might miss when they're using a software or anything that's automated, even leveraging virtual assistants, that kind of thing. It's likely those things are going to miss the best listings on Amazon, which are going to be multi-packs or bundle listings. So for example, I can open up these vitamins right here. I noticed that they're buy one, get one free. So it makes it a good opportunity for us to come in and do manual sourcing using Selleramp to look for these products. And so on this vitamin right here, I go ahead and open up the page. I can just click the Selleramp Chrome extension, and that's going to automatically pull in all of the information about this product and search Amazon for this item. So we can see right here, this is the one pack of 110 capsules. This is probably the exact listing that most Amazon sellers are going to see, especially if they're using a scanning software or something that's trying to do it automatically automatically, you're only going to end up with the one pack listings. But I can tell you that some of the best, most profitable listings on Amazon are the ones where it's a pack of three, it's a pack of five, it's bundled with a different type of product, right? So for example, this right here, the one pack, we'd have to buy it for a maximum of $6.32. Very quickly, we can see that this item is not worth opening because we know based on this buy one, get one free, we're going to be paying about $12 a unit. And so once more, having seller amp here helps us save some clicks. We don't have to open up the listing, figure out, oh, maybe I'm not profitable. We can see it all at a glance, right? So this one right here again for example we can see it is a 75k bestsellers rank so it's pretty good it's in the top 75,000 best selling products in the health and household category but we need to buy all three bottles for less than $19.26 for us to meet our ideal profit standards basically so we can immediately skip over something like that but that is something that most Amazon sellers are going to end up skipping and we can also open up something like this right so this I see actually has no buy box this looks like a very similar listing to that other one the one pack listing so let's see this is is $19.99 over here. And right now we're buying these for $12.50. I think we also had a 10% off coupon there, but it's probably not going to get us close enough. So this actually brings me to another point on how to find more and more products with less and less effort as you progress as an Amazon seller. So for example, this guy right here, we found very close to profit. We can also get another 10%. So we can do $12.50 times 0.90 because that's 10%. So we're at like $2 profit almost. If we had maybe a little bit better of a coupon, this would be worth checking out. And so what I want to do here is is leverage the Google Sheets feature where we can go ahead and head in here and click almost good, where every time you find a lead that is almost profitable, you just need a little bit better of a coupon. I know for a fact, Walgreens runs some better sales, for example. And so I can add that to my almost good list. And then over here, I'm gonna export whatever information I want. In this case, we can custom configure it, change it around however we want. We could add a hundred different data points. I like to keep it relatively simple for this list of things that I wanna come back to and source because most Amazon sellers, when they find a product that's not good, they're just gonna forget about it, they're going to move on. But the more you catalog and the more you record over time, the easier your Amazon business gets, right? So on this almost good list, we would need like a 25% sale or so, and we're buying them from Walgreens. Now over time, this Google sheet becomes a massive resource for your business because, hey, I'm checking sales in the morning. Oh, there's a Walgreens sale going on. Wait, let me look at my list of things that were almost good. And I just needed a little bit better of a coupon on and bang, you have a 
bunch of profitable leads that other people would have forgotten about, skipped over. But if you're recording all of your data in a Google Sheet like that, you're going to maximize all of the time that you've spent working on your Amazon business, right? That's what it's all about. You want to make the most money per hour you spend working on your business. So make it easier on future you and start storing some of those product leads. So to keep sourcing the sale, we could just keep popping open all of these different listings here, hitting the seller app Chrome extension here, but we can make this a little bit more efficient. Just for the sake of example, let's see if we can find this one right here. These are basically $4.50 each. Seems like we'd need to buy these for about maybe half that in this example, but we do know that we have a pretty decent sale that we've identified here. And so instead of clicking around through here, trying to find all the multi-packs, all that stuff, that's the manual sourcing method. It's a little bit more complicated. I would say it's a better sourcing method over time, but there's also a way to cheat your way to finding good profitable products. And that's by going into the offers tab of SellerAmp. We can just click this seller right here. They have only a couple feedback. And what we're looking for here is comparing all the products that they're currently selling in a brand that we've seen is on sale to that sale pricing, right? So if you're a brand new seller, you probably have no idea like the right types of products to be looking at, but other sellers have already done the work for you, right? So as I'm looking through this storefront here, I can see Amazon's on a few of these, but something like this iron down here at the bottom, you can see on the embedded seller ramp chart right there, we can see the prices going up over time and the max costs being $9 compared to those other things we were already looking at on the sale seems somewhat reasonable, right? So we're just trying to basically cheat our way, find the products that other people have already done the work for us. So let's go ahead and hit the Google button and that's going to find the product for us. Let's hit the Amazon button. And in this example, perfect. Seems like we might have them there at Walgreens on that sale we were looking at. These are the 65 milligram, 100 count. Let's just make sure all of this is the same. Important, especially with vitamins and food and all that kind of stuff. So these are $9. Also buy one, get one free. So let's go ahead and punch that in. So these are nine bucks. And then we can also get a 10% off code right there. So let's do nine times 0.90 and bang, we're paying $8.10, a little over $4 profit every time this sells. So that's right there is a winning product, right? So a great example of leveraging all these different sourcing methods with each other. We found a good sale. And instead of trying to do all the legwork ourselves, we just go to a storefront. It's already selling some of that brand. And this applies to literally any brand that you'll find on sale. So that's just a super quick example of how powerful the different sourcing methods with our tool seller amp can be for you. So if you don't already have SellerAmp, the tool we're using to source today, make sure you click below, get a free trial of our tool. It starts for less than $20 a month. It powers the backbone of sourcing in my personal seven-figure Amazon business. So go ahead and activate a free trial. I hope you guys got a ton of value out of this video. Hopefully it helps you find some products that you might've skipped over before. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, drop those down below. Also feel free to subscribe. All that good stuff helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. But I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I will see you next time.